I have just one request for United this season. Please don't let me down. I've probably suffered enough in these last 10 to 12 years. Last season was probably one of the biggest roller coasters as a United fan in recent years. Since Sir Alex left the club, all of our seasons since have been either pretty terrible or good, but never good enough to be considered very successful. Well, this last season was absolutely abysmal and there wasn't really too many saving graces. Our squad was riddled with injuries, we got bounced out of the Champions League in pretty embarrassing fashion, we had our worst Premier League finish in the history of the club, and we lacked the style of play which meant that more often than not we were getting played off the park. The only things that really take away from last seasons that could be a great launching pad into this year are the fact that Manu has risen to such an incredible level. We managed to show that we can beat the best of teams with an impressive performance against City in the FA Cup final. Ineos has partially taken over the club and have implemented a very good structure and we did manage to secure Europa League despite our Premier League finish. So with our next campaign at this point just days away, I'm pleading with United to not disappoint us this season because for whatever reason, call me delusional, but things feel weirdly promising and if we do literally any worse than we did last season we might be fighting for relegation so let's go over what i am asking for from united this season and hopefully if you are a united fan you agree with me as well and real quick boys new to the channel don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe pushing out weekly video essays so make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload and if you're not new to the channel boys welcome back glad to have you on for another video well, with that being said boys let's get into my pleads for united this season so let's start off with the fact that i'm gonna need ten hog to really develop a style of play this season as i mentioned earlier we pretty much had nothing last season that we could identify as a style of play so Ten Hag needs to deliver and really cook something up. I'm not asking for the Ajax style of play or even death by a thousand passes. Literally just identify the strengths of our squad and set them up to play that way week in and week out. If you have to make adjustments for special games do that but developing an exact system that we can follow for the majority of our games is gonna make a night and day difference. You are the coach sir. I shouldn't need to be telling you this I'm just a YouTuber. In fact if we end up signing the Lick to Masrawi we're gonna have multiple ex Ajax players which is going to be even more of an advantage for you to create a system that fits our players and maybe even a nice beautiful style of play as well since we'll have Martinez, Delict, Masrawi, Onana, a bunch of guys that you used to use in a very sophisticated system. Ian saw enough in Ten Hag for him to keep his job while they were doing their whole takeover so now it's time for him to deliver his end of the deal and tactics in modern day football make or break an entire club season however players also have to step up to the plate and deliver week in week out as well. There's so many times last season where our players looked lethargic or just made individual mistakes that hindered us greatly. Rashford, I need you to step up massively. Now is your time to deliver because last season was an absolute disaster. We know the player that you can be and it's time to establish some consistency to your form. You're getting up there in age so there's not much room for inconsistent seasons anymore. Sancho, if you stay, we need more from you too. We saw what you did in the Champions League against PSG and we 1000% need more of that from you. If you're gonna make yourself an important player in this team, that's amazing you're probably staying at the club which means you have to improve from last season as well i know you're getting older my boy but that's no excuse to fall off a cliff entirely when it comes to your performances you must lock in turn back the clock and put in some good performances like you did in the first season i'm not asking for prime casemiro but i'm just asking for one more day one more season where you provide us with some defensive stability garnachu Mainu, ahmad continue to develop and build on those performances that you guys showed us last season and i have no doubt you'll continue to blast your potential into the stratosphere these guys were really some of the positive backbones towards the tail end of last season so it really just keep doing what you're doing get better keep getting better keep developing be the new dna of the team and then euro and any of the new sightings literally just perform for what we bought you for and then you're probably chilling just win over the fans right ugarte if we buy you do your thing in the midfield be solid defensively euro any defensive players that we buy just lock in be good overall there was too much inconsistency in the squad last season not only from the players but also from the manager's end so essentially right the gist of it be consistent we have a couple of promising things this season there's a good chance we make top four maybe not the top two spots of course unless we go on some crazy run but maybe we can secure third or fourth we don't know what's going to happen with chelsea we don't know what's going to happen with liverpool or spurs they all kind of have question marks around their season as well so this season is really a chance for ten hog to start pushing himself and start pushing united to solidify themselves as that third best team in the league and start pushing for maybe silverware maybe not this season but the next season at least in the premier league play your cards right we could probably win the europa league solidify champions league for next season even if we don't finish top four and add another trophy to your cabinet that would be your third trophy whereas arteta only has one so far 
on with Arsenal in this mega team status that he has him playing under. So literally, again, just of everything, just perform, just be consistent. I'm begging you, please, literally, I'm be play good. That's it. That's all I need. But if you got to this point of the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Place your prediction for where you think United's going to finish this next season. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And again, I'm begging you, please subscribe. Please, please, please. Thank you for watching. Peace.